I'm exploring the war scarn. Holy shit, that's a wild dragon. Oh, goodness. Oh, I didn't expect to see an actual dragon spawn in the world. Oh, my god. Move out of the way, birdie. I actually did not expect to see that. Oh, god. He's gonna light me on fire. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Get the fuck away. He's so fast. Oh, no. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Garrett O'Camber, and I have pissed off the wrong enemy. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that's not good. Oh, he's gonna catch me. He's gonna catch me. He's gonna burn me. I, I know it's gonna happen. He's gonna breathe fire. He's gonna kill me as well. Like, my dragon's gonna be fine, but I'm gonna die. Nope. He gave up. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, they're scary. How the hell are you supposed to tame those? I don't... I don't know. Um... I don't think I've ever been to this island, so... Let's stop for a moment. Catch our breath. Oh, not that the dragon uses stamina because he's, for some reason, godlike. Then again, it's a freaking dragon. I mean, ah, uh, let's take a moment, survey our surroundings. I think I've been on this island before. In that episode of Lost, where they meet Bear Grylls, I was also there. I, I know I wasn't. I'm kidding. That'd be awesome. Bear Grylls wasn't in Lost, was he? No, he wasn't. Well, I think it was before Bear like reached Bearhood. I, I'm talking nonsense, apparently. Okay, now that I've just shit behind a tree. No, hold on. Yeah, there we go. That's two for one. Ah, uh, we're going to move around this island and take a look. There's already raptors. I've noticed a lot of predators, and I don't know if it's just the way that the geography is shaped, but there seems to be a lot of predators that spawn in. Manta rays! I want to I wanna take a look at manta rays. I actually have not had a chance to look at the manta rays yet, so this is new for me. Um, yeah, drop. Come on, land. Oh. Okay, you're good. I believe in you. Oh, Manta. Oh, that's a shark. And there's there's tree of life. Hi, guys. How you doing? You're very, very succulent looking. Hey, Manta. <gasps> oh, oh, why? 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 Whoa, okay, they're hostile. I didn't know. I didn't know. I like you, though. You're so cool. Ah. Uh, they're, they're so neat. They are freaking neat. That's so cool. Okay. Let's fly. So, that's cool. <laughs> I like this. I like this little, uh... Yeah. It's, it's like welcoming people to make this into a giant guild island or something like that. Some gigantic clan can move in there and just have all the trees. All the trees that they could ever want. Can you imagine trying to fence off this entire island? Someone should do that. Someone should do an entire, like, Jurassic Park on this island. You know, collect every animal they could possibly think of. And, you know, build, like, a, a land bridge going to the main area and just be like, Welcome to Jurassic Park with the dragons and Mosasaur and other creatures and things. And then, you know... Not pay admission in real life, but like have people log on the server and pay like uh, two thousand fiber, which you can then turn into pants and wear them throughout the park. I don't, I don't know. This is really cool though. Where's anything on this side? Is that anything on this side? No, but not nearly as unimpressive as I thought because you have a gigantic freaking wall. Um, it's a nice little land bridge thing going on. This is so cool. I like this map a lot. Now in the distance here, there is this very interesting looking island that appears to have a face on it. I don't know if it's a face or if I'm just hallucinating. I have to fly through this, I'm sorry. Who's that down there? It's a shark. That's a shark. I must fly through because I can. Hello, there's another rune over there. That's so cool to see. I, I love seeing the runes. At first I didn't know how I'd feel about it. Yeah, that's a face. That's a face. Okay. Take a look at this face, shall we? It's like a demon head or something. Or some sort of skull. God, I feel like a kid in a candy store. I'm just exploring the shit out of this. I'll never explore this entire thing. I'm either just not gonna play it enough. Hey, there's another one over here. Hello, Rin. Hello. Kind of the same as that one. Um. 
I'm either just not gonna, you know, play the game as much, or I'm just gonna play it and never really get anywhere else, because I'm gonna find one spot that I like and I sit there. Is there any reason to this thing, or is this just here? Oh, hold on, it's loading something. It's loading. No, it's just a nice little place to have a... Yeah, have a base. Oh, but there is a upstairs area. You know what the nice thing is living in here? It's lit up. Oh, but there's a lot of metal up here. Okay, so there is a reason to come here. It's just, uh... Huh. Neat. I like. I like a lot. There's, like, bats here, too. That's cool. This would be the place to look for bats. Um, if you don't want to risk going anywhere else. And there's this lone little island out here with nothing on it. Look at that ocean. It just goes on and on. I think, actually, it might... Actually, I'm going to doubt it now because it looks a little bit too far, but that goes for a good distance away. And I'll show you that in a moment. It's a waterfall that goes off to the edge, edge of the world, edge of the universe. There's nothing there. It's just nothingness. There is a drop out here in the middle of nowhere on this tiny little island. That's kind of funny to see. So if you lived on the edge of that island, you'd be getting drops, which is pretty cool. Um, but you'd be super vulnerable to people flying or seaborne marauders. That's why you want to raise an army of fish and uh, you know, have like a shitload of uh, sharks. And probably have a means of escaping by air if you can. That is a megalodon. And there's quite a few swamps here and there. And they're all, you know, usually in this region. It's pretty neat to see. We are approaching World's End. Oh my god. It's kind of frightening. <laughs> it's kind of frightening. Oh my goodness. And that just goes off. And I don't even know how far down that goes. Um... I'm afraid if I fly down too too low, I'll lose my dragon. So I, I haven't been down there, but I think I'll go down there at one of these points. It's scary. One among my um, superstitions was that part of that goes into the underworld, but I, again, I haven't I haven't had the bravery to go down there, and I don't want to lose my dragon. It was really hard cheating him in. But no, seriously, I don't know. Like, maybe at the end of this uh, series, I'll just be like, Hey! Let's jump down and die! It's amazing. So this is the tundra. And it's it looks like what we would imagine prehistoric, uh, prehistoric Earth to look like during the Ice Age. I mean, at least what the artwork implies. Large, like, gullies and massive cliff faces and things like that. Whether or not that was the case, we'll never really know. Although humans lived during this time that this place is set in. Uh, yeah. Minus the dragon. We don't really have a recollection of that. That is fucking cool. I want to see this glacier cave. I'm probably going to freeze to death in here. Let's watch my temperature. Let's watch it drop. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. We're not going to be able to explore it, though. He'll kill us. Should be warm on the dragon, but apparently that doesn't make up for anything. Oh, it's so pretty. Jeez. Here we have a slope going up to the Arctic. I have not seen this area again, so this is, like, all new to me. I don't know what kind of surprises might be here. And again, I'm probably overlooking a lot. Um... I'm sure there's more to this map than meets the eye. Maybe there's an outer space dimension where the space mammoths who fart out bubblegum and T-Rexes that laugh when they roar. Uh -huh. Yeah, that would be frightening to say the least. Um, this is really cool. I like this. Getting some serious Skyrim vibes up here, but how cold is it? It's freezing. Yeah, we can't be here for very long. But there is another snow biome across the way that looks starkly different uh, than this one. This one is quite nice looking, and I'm sure the next one is just as amazing. I'm just 
just enjoying flying. <laughs> this entire this entire series is literally me just exploring places and talking about shit that I'm seeing. But I like it. I'm having a good time exploring. I think it's fascinating. And it suddenly got really bright. There's also like a little glacier down there in the middle of that lake. Um, but there's also this neat little like multi-tiered biome. There's a swamp down here, you know. There's uh, the tundra, and then there's the snow biome. It's a really neat little ecosystem that the center area, and this area always lags. Like even before I had the graphics card, this place is just can't handle it properly. And that's because there's a lot of shit happening. I mean, that's an island that has a bunch of uh, waterfalls surrounding it. And we will take a look at that. Don't worry. We will take a look at that soon enough. I'm swooping down low into the swamp here. And we got a nice ring of trees coming up. And this area is just beautiful looking. Reminds me a lot of some of the places I visited as a child. Um, not with as many mountains, obviously, but like the trees, just how they're spaced out. And uh, there's actually a lake here in Massachusetts that has similar features to this. Um, hills overlooking the lake, and then there's large trees. It's gorgeous. Um, there's penguins that live on that iceberg too, but I've, I have been there before. I haven't been to the like snow. And there's also screenshots, but not all the screenshots can really do it justice. Is actually playing here right now and seeing this place. This is a really cool area too. This is wide open, so you have a lot of potential for, you know, easy uh, base building, things like that. Um, we're gonna check out the other snow biome here. So here we have the next area, and it is really cool. <laughs> it's cool, get it? I didn't mean to say that. Really didn't. But it's really cool looking. And there is that beautiful wall of nothing. Um, because, yeah, why not at this point? And it gets a little darker up here. I don't know if that's because of the elevation or what. At least my monitor is picking it up a little bit darker than it should be. Okay. Yeah, it's like foggy up here. I think this might be colder than the other area. We have a giant rock jutting out here. Oh, you know why it's darker? There's probably a cloud that's low flying. Low flying cloud! Yes, because clouds fly. Maybe they do. Maybe they have little wings, little cloud wings. And this uh, area is just more tall? It doesn't appear to be larger. I guess my one complaint is the snow area is not as large as in the uh, arc. I mean, there's two of them, but they're not that big overall. They're kind of small. I think they should have added another area um, that was just as large. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. It's a cool map. <laughs> That's what this entire consensus has been. It's a cool frickin' map. I'm liking it a lot. Uh, there's a mammoth. Mammoth! Oh, I'm sorry, I burned you. Are you gonna... Fall off. Oh, I killed your friend. Are you, are you coming for me? You coming for me? Mammoth on fire. Mammoth on fire. Mammoth falling. No, Mammoth. Uh, he doesn't take fall damage, so he's fine. Welcome to Jurassic Ark. Well, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode of Exploring Ark. Ark Survival Evolved.